Well, good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning. We're going to do a little bit of a live install, something a little bit different than normal. Uh, first, though, i got to get you up on the iPad here so I can actually see uh, what you guys are seeing. Let's mute this. Looks like we have some advertisements. Go ahead and get rid of that. All right. It looks like... Uh, I've got you up on the screen, so that's cool, that's what I want, although it's funny, there is a lag, so I can't see live, real time, uh, what I'm looking at, but let me change, let's see, uh, change something here, I think, uh, live chat, no, nah, it's on live chat, so I think we're good, by the way, if you're just kicking on, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, uh, and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't before now again this is going to be live so if anything funky or weird happens then uh, it's going to happen because it's not edited um, what i've got here this is a bed they actually call it a billet d-ring it's for the toyota tacoma we're going to get all the administrative junk out of the way in the beginning uh, it's to replace the tie downs these little swivel things on the tacoma over here so one thing I hate about these is they're supposed to pull up, right? Mine is like seeds. It won't pull up. So trying to hook something underneath it is a real pain. These aren't like that. Now, they come from a company called BilletTieDowns.com. Of course, there is a discount code. It's Rob Motive for 5% off. You want to check them out. They also make bed rail tie downs and tie downs to replace those little screen door hanger things in the front. Also, they have products for the Tacoma, the Tundra, uh, let's see, the Jeep Gladiator, the F-150, I believe the F-250, so lots of Toyota, Ford, and Jeep parts. And yeah, you keep seeing me look off because I have all this written down on the whiteboard, so I don't forget anything. Uh, they're made by, I guess, a company called Charbonia, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, design, again, the website is billettiedowns.com. So, what we're going to do, let's go ahead, the unboxing's pretty darn simple, there's just two pieces in here. This is what they look like. And you can get them in different colors, they come in red, black, blue, silver, red textured, or actually, I take that back, these come in red, black, blue, and silver. It's some of the other products that have even more options, but red, black, blue, and silver. Yeah, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget, right? Uh, let's see. Daniel, good morning. Robert, good morning. Magic, hey, Rob, delivered your mail the other day and saw the trucks. They look good. Hey, thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Awesome. And by the way, you do a fantastic job. Uh, Fergie, great way to start the day. Hey, I appreciate that, Fergie. Uh, anyway, this is what they look like, and it does pop up very easily. You see this? Very nice. Not like these where, I mean, I really would have to get on that. I don't even know if I could, and I don't want to hurt myself live on camera, so I'm not going to really get on it, because that's something I would do. Uh, they are anodized aluminum, by the way. I believe it's a C or a, a 6061 uh, anodized aluminum. Pretty cool. Now, let's go ahead. We're going to jump right in and get started because I don't want this video to be five hours long. We're going to start. Let's see if I can get you in a good position here. That's always the uh, hardest part. Let me uh, point you down a little bit. CP, good morning. Michael, good morning. Uh, they are very stiff. Oh, they're horrible, man. All right. I think I have you in a good position. I don't know if I can zoom in. No, I can't really zoom in on live. So we're not going to do that. But they take a T40 uh, Torx bit, I guess you call it. Um, and that's all you really need other than some blue Loctite. You want to put that on, obviously, to keep the bolts down. Now, I have not taken these off. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, hopefully they come off rather easily. I don't know. Let's give it a try. See what we get here. Again, it's live, so if I slip off and smash my hand, you're going to see it, and you may hear some colorful words. I don't know, so I'll apologize up front. All right. Oh, wow. Well, that was really simple. I uh, psyched myself out, I guess. Go ahead and screw that out. 
and I want to see what's under it. They come with directions. You can see here, and they show the uh, main bolt, so you're going to reuse the factory hardware, and then there's a lot of other stuff under it. And there's also, I think I saw on the bottom of the box, a couple of, uh, they look like nylon washers that go on the bottom. So whatever's in there, and then the one that comes with the kit on the bottom. All right, let's get on with it. Yes, we do have, okay, and I see why. It has one of these kind of crush washers on here. So that is something that I had not intended on. So I'm going to have to get that thing off. Oh, it is plastic. Oh, awesome. Well, that won't be too difficult. Matter of fact, it might even crack off of there. That's why they give you a new one, I guess. So the washers they provided go on the bottom, and then you want to keep these other ones in the same order as what uh, they come on the truck. So let me grab a pair of pliers. Got to see if I can pull that plastic piece off. Should be pretty simple, I think. Gary, good morning. I love a Sunday morning mod. Awesome, thank you. Uh, let's see, I think I'm caught up. Yeah, I'll try to answer comments as I go. All right, you wanna just pull this piece off. I'm gonna try to do it without losing everything else. Okay, it comes off pretty easily. There, just like that. Now, as I said, you wanna keep this in the same order uh, because they're gonna go back on in the same order, so. Let's go ahead, pull those off. And I'm a stickler when it comes to this kind of stuff, so. And then you have the Junkie Factory. Yeah, I don't even know. I'd have to put this in the vise and work it. It's like seeds, I don't know. So, the new one. You're gonna put the uh, factory bolt down through the center, like so. And then we're gonna put the hardware back on in the order that it came off. Hopefully I didn't mess that up. Try not to. Okay, so we have that. And I may have already messed it up. Hopefully I didn't. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and put the new... Oops, the new one on. And I'm going to go ahead and take the old one off or the other one, I should say, just to make sure I get the order right for the hardware. Again, I know, I'm a stickler for that. So I want to make sure I don't mess that up. Let's go ahead and get this one off, because we're going to take it off anyway. Obviously. Okay, so we're going to take this one off. Again, this is just to make sure I get it the right way. Uh, and I have it the right way. Okay, so we have kind of a spacer, a lock, live video. See, and I wasn't even pointing at myself. Drop the bolt, going crazy over here. Um, we have the bolt, put that sucker back through. And then we have a spacer, a flat washer, or I'm sorry, a lock washer, and then a flat washer. One more time, make sure. Spacer, uh, lock washer, flat washer, and then our plastic washer, which I'm gonna go ahead and get on there right now before I drop everything all over the place again. Uh, the way that this goes, I'm not exactly sure. I don't know if it really matters. Um, I'm gonna put it on flat side down. Just like so. Go ahead and push this through. And I think that's about it. Obviously, when we tighten it down, it's going to push it down even further. I'm trying to get it down as far as I can uh, before that. And that's it. Right. Of course, I want to put the blue Loctite on, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Shake this stuff up a little bit. Make sure you guys can still see. Okay. I don't know if you have to shake up the Loctite or not, but, you know, good. All right, let's go ahead and squirt a little. I never know how much of this stuff to put on. And 
this is an unopened uh, piece, so we got to snip the end off. Let's see. All right, let's go ahead and cut the end of this off. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and squirt a little of this on. And I'm sure I always use way too much like that. Of course, you know, with this stuff, once it starts to flow, it flows, right? All right, that takes care of that. Now, let's go ahead and get it back in the hole. In fact, before I do that, I do want to clean that off a little bit. I mean, if you're doing it, why not get it clean, right? Get everything out of there. Because you know, it's the only time it's ever going to be clean, right? Ah, uh, let's look at some comments. Uh, Gary says, good morning. I love a Sunday morning mod. Michael, as you were taking it off, any reason why it's so darn tight? Uh, corrosion. I don't know. I assume you're talking about uh, this. I mean, <sighs> oh, I'd have to put it in the vise. I mean, it's that tight or I'm that weak. I don't know. If you plan on painting the factory D range, you can slightly loosen them with a flathead screwdriver. There you go. Ronald Neal, looking good. Krista. Honey. Hey, Krista, what's up? That'd be my wife. All right, let's go ahead. I've got it cleaned off. It's never going to see the light of day again. Hopefully. I mean, that's the idea, right? Let's tighten it down and see what, uh, what we end up with. Here. All right, the whole thing. Look at that. It's like it's on bearings, man. Let's tighten it down. Now, it wasn't very tight to begin with, so I don't want to go crazy. I mean, I could really crank on that thing, but I do want it to, uh, to spin. So, look at that. Turns around, and you can pull this up so you can easily hook anything to it that you want. I like that. That's pretty cool. And then it's down and out of the way. Very, very slick. I've never had these before. Uh, other than factory, I'm going to tighten a little more just because, yeah, I would use the old wrist rule. I use this a lot. And what I mean by that is, is one hand, unless you're inhumanly strong, uh, put it in and then just tighten until you can't anymore, like so, with uh, one hand. All right? One hand. That's it. If you're putting two hands on this thing and you're cranking like this, you are, you are giving it way too much. I know, I've been there. You'll strip that sucker out and then you will be very, very unhappy. Uh, Lee Free, Rock Motive Live on my phone. Battle Box on TV doesn't get any better. Awesome. Michael Bloss says much better. Yeah, check that out. Isn't that cool? Let's go ahead and get the other one on. Let me move you over a little bit. I'm trying to stay out of your view. Uh, sorry for the sudden movements for those vertically challenged or, you know, that kind of thing. That's the wrong word, but you know what I'm saying. All right, this one's off. So we're going to go ahead and just wipe it out real quick. And then we need to remove the washers and stuff. Again, paying particular attention to the orientation. We have a spacer, and that's what it rotates on, I think. Um, and then a, a flat washer, I'm sorry, a lock washer and a flat washer. So let's get that plastic retainer. Maybe that's all it is, is a retainer, I don't know. But let's get it off of there. And I could cut it off. I mean, now that I know the part fits seamlessly, I'm not really concerned that I have to reuse it, but. I like to keep uh, parts around, just ask my wife, uh, to reuse if I need to uh, for some other project, so who knows. All right, let's get this one out of here. Get that washer out of the way so I don't, uh, oops, that is the one I want to reuse. Uh, okay, let's pull it out, trying again to keep everything oriented the right way. And I guess 
storage. You know, I'll keep them because that's what I do. Go ahead, drop the bolt in, and then put the spacers and all its accoutrement. Accoutrement. We might as well be refined here on a Sunday morning. Uh, the washer. Again, let's go ahead and stick that sucker on. I really don't think they could make this any easier. I mean, you know, if you can turn a wrench, you should be able to do this mod, right? Now, let's get some blue Loctite on before I forget, which I'm known to do. Make sure I got this the right way. You can really only put it one way. It's indented for the bolt there. Let's see. Let's go ahead, drop some blue Loctite. Ooh. Again, I'm on blue Loctite uh, over user, I'm sure. You probably only need to put it on at one spot, but you turn the threads and, you know, it kind of disperses, but nonetheless, I like to have a lot. Now, let's go ahead, stick it in the hole. Turn it to get blue Loctite all over the place. Tighten it down. Let's see. Much better, Michael. Does that big? Does that bit take off original come with the new part? No, it doesn't. You have to have or your own uh, Torx fitted or Torx 40 or T40 Torx bit. Uh, Skibian, how snug is the movement on the rain part going up and down? For example, is it going to bounce? Uh, I'll show you something about that in just a minute. So bear with me a second. Let me get this one open. They have a neat little uh, piece, I guess, or perk, I don't know what you want to call it, um, feature, for just that reason. But let me tighten this down. Again, trying to use the one hand, I think it's a little awkward. I'm not left handed, so my left hand is going to be weaker. But, let's try. There we go. Let's make sure we have movement. We do. This one's a little bit tighter, probably because I tightened it a little bit tighter. Now, I mentioned uh, they kind of account for that. How can I show you? Um, I'm going to try to bring the camera closer and show you guys what I'm talking about that. Now, take a look. Right down here, you see this little, I know you can see it, this little silver like ball. It kind of goes into a, a little hole here. Um, let's see, is there more than one? No, there's only one. And it actually goes into a hole right here. I don't know if you can see that. Just to secure it. That way it doesn't bounce around. It doesn't take much to pull it up though, I will say, but I don't think so. I don't think you're gonna get a lot of noise. I, I can't say for sure that you won't, but this one I didn't get it quite as tight, spins much freer, but nonetheless. And it has the same little nub down there. So, and actually, I think, yeah, it's, it's about the same. I just got this one, I think, a little bit tighter, uh, but still plenty of easy movement, and obviously the top part swings on there pretty darn simply. So um, I kind of like that it's a little tighter. It'll keep it kind of centered. This one will just kind of spin. So you might get a little noise out of that if it's spinning around. If you don't want that, just tighten it a little bit more. But don't go nuts. Uh, I wouldn't go crazy with that. Let's see, I'm curious, these stupid things. Let's see. Yeah, man, I can't even, yeah, I can't even move. Now this one I think is better, or is it? Wow. Yeah, these are like frozen. I mean, I'm sure if I really cranked on it, like somebody said with a screwdriver, but then you're taking your screwdriver <clears throat> and you're pushing down on the bed which is just plastic, right? I mean, is that something you really wanna do? I don't know. Let's get rid of that. So that's it, that's the whole mod. Uh, pretty darn simple, I think. Let me uh, check up on the comments here and then we're gonna sign off. I didn't want this to be a four hour long install video for something so simple, but check those out. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. I mean, I don't know, it's useful should last forever. I mean, it's anodized aluminum. It should last forever. And you're never going to have any problems getting this up.
unlike these. And how frustrating is it? You know, you're always somewhere, maybe it's getting ready to rain or whatever, it's freezing outside, try to tie something down, you grab this, oh, you pull it off, nothing happens because it's, it's frozen. Wow, it's frozen like this one is right now. Go out and check yours out. If you think I'm kidding, try yours if you've had the truck for a while. I bet it's the same way. Anyway, let's take a quick look at what are the comments may have come in. I'm sure I probably missed somebody. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Uh, Michael McFetter, does a bit take? No. Sweetian, no. Sweetian. Okay, those are sweet. Yeah, I agree. They're awesome. Michael Bloss, this looks good, Rob. Elry Weiss, uh, should they not be mean green? Well, I would have gotten orange, actually, but they come in... I'll go over this one more time. They come in silver, blue, black, and red. If I could have gotten uh, orange, uh, I would have. So there is no green, there is no orange. You get those four colors, that's it. So certainly you can find something that matches. I went with red because I had red accents on the truck before. I still have some red uh, up there in the top. Let me see if I can't turn you guys up. Right up there in the... Uh, Stickers that I put on. By the way, you guys are the first to see the new Rob Motive sticker. Pretty darn cool, I think. Uh, anyway, I think they look pretty cool. I love the look. Uh, might as well give a shout out to Snail Armor while I'm here too. I think I, I did some kind of video the other day for those guys. These panels are awesome. Um, you can customize whatever design you want on it. You can get them for, I think it's the Tacoma, the Tundra, the Gladiator, and maybe, I think the Forerunner as well, if you have any of those. But just a way to customize the truck. Obviously, from a useful standpoint, you can sit some hot stuff on here. You don't have to worry about that. Um, they're flat, so you're not gonna roll all over the place. And I would never use my tailgate as a cutting board. I know some of the other companies out there push that. It's their gimmick. But really, you wanna eat off of where you sit and step and throw manure and mulch and whatever. And then once you cut into that, it's got grooves in it and all that junk collects. You want to have to carry around sanitizer and sanitize your bed. I mean, it's just insane. Buy a little $2 cutting board from the Walmarts and then throw it away when it gets so bad. I mean, really? It sucks. Anyway, that is, uh, that is the video. Again, I don't want to turn this into a, an epically long tale. So I'm going to sign off now. Leave a comment uh, if you haven't already. I will look back at the comments uh, just to see what you guys say about it. Don't forget, you can go to billettiedowns.com. Use discount code ROBMOTIVE. You can save 5%. Awesome product. Thanks for joining everybody that did. Just a quick little pre-Sunday football video. And I thought I'd do the live. Uh, I think I've done one live install before and I kind of enjoy doing these. It's kind of neat to be able to, to talk to you guys and, uh, and do the install at the same time. So let me know if you like this format. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the games today if you're into football. Bye.